Hey guys, Steve from Lakeshore RV, just doing the orientation video for you on your new Passport. I'll start on the outside here, we'll work our way to the inside. Um, if I miss something or if you have questions, always feel free to get a hold of me on my cell, 231-736-9462. And so we'll start right here at the entrance. We have the flip down steps, and one thing you want to make sure as you're bringing these steps up and down is that there is enough clearance to this door you want to make sure that door is all the way open if it's cracked just a little bit like that this right here will catch and could dent the door so just make sure that door is all the way open when you're bringing those steps up or down going to the past few storage we have a few items in here you have your power cord is right there that's a 50 amp cord i'll show you where that plugs in on the side and then the 50 amp can plug into this. This is a 30 amp, amp adapter. That's your 30 out. And then this will plug into that so you can plug it in at home if you would like to do that. Um, as far as plugging it in at home, you can pretty much run just about everything but the AC. Don't try running the AC. You might blow a, um, a breaker at the house there. Two buttons right here, extend, retract. This is going to be for your... Um, power leveling or the uh, stabilizer jacks so front and then back right there is how you control those those would be the the jacks that come down in the front you have a 12 volt battery under the box 220 pound propane tanks um, you can get those filled or these are the same size you can take like to the gas station and get exchanged and then in the front here you have your um, Power tongue jack, this is what's going to um, help you get it on and off the vehicle. The on button right here, that is just for the light. You see the light comes on. That does not have to be on to, to use this. Retract, extend, um, pretty basic. It does move at a pretty um, slow speed there. So that's in the front. As we come around to the other side of the pass-through storage, um, you'll notice couple other things this blue coil holds right here this part is going to go into where the um, outside shower is at and then the other end that threaded end is just like a garden hose attachment so if you want to hook a sprayer up to it you can do that the cranks here this would be the manual backup for the power jacks if they ever went out and then um, this is going to be for the um, the jack here if you ever lose power you can just pull this excess um, cover off and go ahead and manually um, wrench that jack up and down right here this is your fresh water connection this will actually fill the bigger diameter this will fill your fresh water tank take a hose you can stick it in there and turn it on you can see right next to it there's a vent so as this fills um, once it's full basically water's just going to start shooting out and that's that's actually normal, so don't uh, don't worry if that happens. It just tells you that it's full. Next to it, if you're at a campsite that has water, you can hook the hose up from the spigot at the site and then directly into the camper here. As we're moving ar around the coach here, you'll have in the back here, you're gonna notice a couple of labels, black tank and gray tank. Your black tank, is the tank that holds all the sewer. So anything that gets flushed down the toilet will be in the black tank. Gray water is gonna be anything that goes down the sink, like dirty water. Um, sink, um, shower, that would all come out there. So basically, guys, you can see underneath here, you've got um, the black color and the gray. And that, that's a good indicator of um, what each one is. So the gray, you pull that, that's going to be for the dirty water. And then the black is going to be for the sewer water. So that's where that's located. This here, this is where you have your um, connector for the power, that power cord that's in there. Basically, see the silver? The silver side right here. If you just line those up, and then there are a couple of... Um, knobs right here that'll go inside but if you line those up push it in give it a twist and then you can thread this to lock it in okay but that's how you'll connect and disconnect the uh, power cord as we move over to the back section here 
couple of things you'll notice you do have your spare tire right here um, under the cover and then the exterior door as well that has the, the same steps as the uh, other compartments you want to make sure this door's all open. Behind this, this is going to be your outside shower where you can spray down um, anything you know off the back there with hot and cold water. And then next to that, this is going to be where your um, hookup is for your cable or satellite. So if you're at a park that has cable, um, you'll hook the coaxial up right here. Or if you guys end up doing a satellite someday, uh, same thing. You'll just hook up the coaxial into the uh, camper right there. The spray port, this is going to be what that blue coil hose was for. Right here, it's just a quick connect fitting. Push it in, push the, um, the hose in, and then you can obviously use it just to spray down. Um, anything you want. That's just going to be cold water there. Coming over here, this is to um, clean out your black tank. As a caution sign, basically what it's saying is make sure you have your valve open on the uh, on the black tank before you hook a hose up to it. What will happen, you hook a hose up, it's going to jet out that black tank, get, help get any of the sewage and everything out of that tank. But you got to make sure that um, that valve is open for the black tank. Otherwise, Water will go in, there's nowhere for it to go, it'll come up through the toilet. So if you're gonna use this black tank flush, make sure the valve is opened on the other side for the black tank. Um, TV bracket, if you wanted to do that, is right, um, is where you could hook it up right there. And then you have your output for your um, antenna, cable TV, and the satellite. And then just a 110 outlet right there. This is your furnace exhaust um, that will get hot. Don't lean anything up against that. And same for this, this is your hot water um, exhaust right here for your hot water tank. That, um, I'll show you how to turn that on, but both of these have hot exhaust. So you wanna just make sure you don't lean anything up against it. Your outside shower, this is gonna be an electric only fridge right here. So when you're plugged in um, to power, that will work and then your the cooktop right here, as it slides out, you have the um, the gas line will reach down, and you'll see right there where that um, yellow cover is in the tag right there. That's where you'll plug into the main gas line for the for the grill right here. And then, guys, as we move into the camper here. First thing you'll notice is this control panel and this is pretty pretty self-explanatory but let me go through a hot water heater if you want to run it off gas you turn that on if you want to run it off electric you turn that on you can do both if you want um, you'll want to make sure that there is water in the uh, in the tank um, just to make sure that uh, you, you don't burn out the element in there you want to make sure that there is water in the hot water tank but that's how you'll operate those water pump if you filled um, with the hose filled your fresh water tank you would turn that on right there and then that will pressurize the whole system you can just basically leave that pump on and then as you use something like the faucet the pump will run to keep up the pressure on it porch this is going to be a porch light right there on the outside and then your ceiling lights right here um, your slide out one is going to be the main one Number two is going to be back in the bunkhouse. And then for your awning, to extend it, you just push it out, retract, bring it back in right there. Behind the door, you do have um, storage right here. And then on the back side of that, you do have your television and then your um, Bluetooth stereo. This is a gas electric fridge. This right here is pretty straightforward, guys. You have your on, off, and automatic. There's instructions right here, but basically when it's on, it is on, it's an automatic. Automatic position means when it's plugged into power, it's gonna default to the power. When you unplug it, it will run off gas, the LP gas tanks in the front there. You wanna make sure those are open if you wanna run the uh, fridge going down the road. So basically as you're traveling, the fridge will continue to operate off gas if you have it on the automatic. Otherwise, if you push this out, it will just run off gas. Really not a point to do that um, because like I said, when it's on automatic, it will switch back and forth. So as you're going down the road, it'll run off gas. When you stop, plug back into power, it will default and go back to electric. 
your microwave um, obviously you're gonna have to be plugged in for that that operates just like what you have at home your gas um, stove top and oven it just folds away like that three um, middle knobs there that is going to be for uh, the individual burners and then on the end here this is a spark ignition kind of like you would have you see it there um, on a grill and then on the end this is going to be for um, the oven right here um, and then you can just again pilot crank and then continue on to whatever setting you want to do and that's for the oven right there the dial on the end that's just for a little bit a bit of uh, backlighting if you want that on again fold and fold down into place sink um pretty standard it does have the um pull out option here to spray and then your keys here your um Purple keys are going to be for the entry doors. The gray key is going to be for the um, for your pass-through doors to, to lock those. Above here, this is your thermostat. If we turn it on to mode, you can see the fan on if you want the fan to run. When the fan runs, that is actually the um, fan from the AC there. If you want the AC to run, you have to turn it on to cold. And then you set the temperature right there. Set it up or down, and then from there, if we want the furnace on. You can see it says furnace, and then right there, that is in the off position. Um, so basically, you'll go through and toggle cool, furnace, and then off. And again, fan that is just going to run the, um, the fan right here, and that will push air through the, um, through the ducts. You might want to do that. Um, we use it in ours for like um, just noise. Um, when everybody's sleeping, we normally run with a fan. Otherwise, it will circulate air. Um, again, it, it's through the air conditioner, but the air conditioner is not engaged. The compressor is not engaged, so it's just blowing the ambient um, air around. So we'll go back out to mode. And again, to adjust temperature, is all right here. Furnace, and then back to off. One other thing you'll notice right here is your GFI connector. Um, this is important if you have outlets that are working, because you do have you know outlets, and then also in the bedroom. Um, if those are not working, just make sure that the uh, GFI outlet isn't tripped. If it is, go ahead and reset it, and that should take care of it. There's also going to be another GFI outlet right here in the bathroom. Okay, um, sink, pretty self-explanatory, hot cold water. This right here, this is the travel position to, to lock it open. And again, um, hot and cold water and then pull up right there for the, um, for the shower for it to go out the, the handle. The toilet right here, this is a foot flush. So um, to flush it, you'll just push if I show you here. Push that down, that'll open up and then flush. The pink in here, it is winterized, that is antifreeze. Um, before you guys go out on your first trip, you'll want to run the antifreeze. Just hook a water hose up and basically um, open everything up and just run the antifreeze out of it. Bunk area back here, um, pretty straightforward. You do have the flip down steps here. Uh, again, make sure that door's all the way open before you use those. And then this is for the light outside. You do have outlets and then USB um, jacks throughout. Main thing back here is, this is where your um, circuit breakers are at. They're all um, labeled as to what they're for. And then also your 12 volt. So a lot of this, the uh, slide outs, the lights will run off 12 volt, which is basically battery power. And then when, um, when you plug it in, there's a converter that takes it from the AC power to the DC power, which is basically 110 down to 12 volts. So you can operate all those um, items right off when you, when you plug in. Then as we walk up to the front here, to the bedroom, 
Um, you'll notice switch here for the slide out. This is on a dimmer switch. And then um, you can just slide your finger up and down to turn that off and on. You do have a carbon monoxide LP detector right down here. That's what um, that white box is. And then smoke detectors in the bedroom. You'll also notice right here that the um, uh, hookup, if you want a TV, you can do that in the bedroom as well. You have your outlet and then your hookup there for the uh, cable or satellite. Well, guys, that's going to be um, kind of the general overview on the camper. Again, if you have other questions, feel free to get a hold of me. 231-736-9162. Uh, Hope you guys have a ton of fun with this and a lot of great memories. And thank you so much for your business. We'll talk to you soon.